As we look at this tail of the tape, the reach advantage for Crowley could be significant because Abdukaharov really wants to fight at range in this fight. That reach advantage might help a Crowley. Rules for this fight, same as the first fight. Without further ado, once again, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans from Dignity Health Sports Park here in Carson, California, we continue our action in the welterweight division. Introducing our three judges scoring from ringside from Mexico, Alejandro Rochin. From California, Pat Russell. And also from California, Fernando Villarreal. Introducing our referee in charge of the action. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions. Jerry Cantu. All right, fans, here we go. The co-main event of the evening scheduled 10 rounds of boxing, a battle of undefeated welterweights in the ring. Introducing to you first, on my right, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing white trunks with gold trim, he is fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. He weighed in at a ready 145 and one half pounds. With a record of 19 wins, no losses, he has nine wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated Southpaw contender, introducing Cody, the Crippler Crowley. And his opponent across the ring, finding out of the blue corner, wearing dark blue trunks with gold trim, Haley from Tashkent, Uzbekistan. He weighed in at 146 and one quarter pounds. He also is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 18 wins, no losses, 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the IBF number one ranked welterweight world contender introducing the undefeated Kudratilo Let's go. Once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Jerry Cantu. Chief seconds. Not peace. Not peace. I'm sorry. Gentlemen, you were giving your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. You will obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. Jerry Cantu in his 19th year as a referee, officiating his 488th professional Corner. bout. Corner. Two. Corner. Corner. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come here, gentlemen. Bell round one and the Canadian Crowley. What an inspiring story, Al. Relocate, moving to Las Vegas, bought a one-way ticket when he was 18 yes. to Vegas, set out to be a pro fighter, returned home after utterly failing, regrouped, went back and waited two weeks to spar with Floyd Mayweather, went 38 minutes yes. with him, and here he is! Yeah, it was Mayweather, Jim famed for its long and grueling sparring sessions, and you know, Watch he had a 10-year plan, he said, I'm gonna be a champion in 10 years, uh, he's headed, he hopes he's headed towards that you know in his last fight against Josh Torres who came in with a seven fight win streak Crowley averaged 82 punches a round and in the fifth round he landed 52 so he he is a guy who likes to work and work a lot and they're both throwing punches here early Abner he sparred about 150 rounds with Floyd Mayweather preparing him for the Manny Pacquiao and Conor McGregor fights and the commitment the desire the belief the dream is alive for Cody Crowley, and here he faces by far the toughest test oh, yeah. of his career. I mean, if you spar with Floyd Mayweather, you definitely pick up a good thing or two. And if you sparred at that gym, the doghouse, I mean, you must definitely be yeah, proving yourself. And, and Crowley definitely showing something different because he normally is a boxer. He likes to box, use the ring, but now he's being the aggressive puncher because he must have seen something. He said, if I pressure uh, Duke Kaharov, you know, I'm going to give him something different. And he's doing. It. He's, he's a good round for Kali. And Abdul Kaharov already switched to lefty a little bit. We will see that during the course of this fight. And Manny Robles, his new trainer, this is his first fight with Manny Robles, he wants him to be a lefty more often. There's a straight left that scored for Crowley. 
Crowley can get you. If he gets you on the ropes, though, he, he does like to box, but he can pressure you, and he's pressuring Abdukaharov really well in this round. Yeah, uh, Abdukaharov not working, not doing so well on his back foot. Yeah. He's, he's known to be a pressure fighter, and right now, you know, he doesn't know what to do. Right hand to the body by Abdukaharov, <laughs> but there's a left to the body by Crowley. Crowley putting the pressure on Abdu Kahorov here in round number one, looking to seize the moment, seize this opportunity. Some great body work from both right there. COVID cost Crowley a nationally televised opportunity. That's Gabriel Maestra earlier. And there's a jab that lands for Abdu Kahorov. <laughs> We'll take a look what these men need to do in order to win this fight for Abdul Kaharov. Uh, he, he planned on using lateral movement, and he's doing that in this fight. And you do want to give angles to Crowley. Has to stay off the ropes. And Crowley has pushed him there a couple times and landed good body punches. Now, when he's a righty, I think the left hook is a good weapon for him to use in this fight. Now, for Crowley, uh, got to cut off the ring, and he did that pretty well in round one. The body punches, he did go downstairs, especially with that right hook, and when he gets in position, the double right hook is very effective for him to both the body and the head. Both of these undefeated fighters looking to rise to the next level as round number two is underway. And after Kaharov trying to utilize lateral movement, but Crowley continuing to put on the pressure. You know, Crowley threw 43 jabs in that last round, and that punch has helped him get on the inside very well. Yeah, Crowley's got to be careful, too. He's just lunging in, and Abdul Kakarov, he, he's landing great body work as soon as he comes in. And there's the right Oh, hand. wow, he hurt him. Crowley! He hurt him. Yep. Staggered Abdul Kakarov, who's never been down, and there's the uppercut that jacked the job of Abdul Kakarov in the ropes. May have helped him there. Crowley biting down. Abdukharov ranked number one, a mandatory for Errol Spence. Whether he'll ever get there, I don't know, but he's got a lot on the line right now against the underdog Crowley. And Crowley gets clipped with the right, but Crowley is a crazy work at that. Yeah. He's in the gym every single day. He has, yep. he eats, lives, and breathes boxing. He was born with off. hockey skates on in Canada, of course, but he is looking to make his mark in the boxing ring, and he's looking to make his mark on Abdukharov here in round two. Great exchange in the corner, but uh, Crowley getting the better of most of these exchanges right now. And there, Abdukharov with a right uppercut to the body, continues to work to the body. You know, uh, Crowley has landed the straight left well. I thought the right hook was going to be his big power punch, and it may still be, but the left is landing for him. Great distance, great left hand that he's landing, Crowley. Yeah, Crowley trained by Haseem Rockman's younger brother. Haseem Rockman known for a huge upset against Lennox Lewis, and Crowley looking to upset Abdul Kahara. Ivan Carson, yeah, the trainer of Crowley, and they feel like Crowley is just on the brink of doing really good things, and he's done them in this fight so far. Yeah, you know, we haven't seen the uh, Duke Kaharov. Oh, oh my! Abdul Kaharov! Sending this. Crowley down for the first time in Crowley's career! Six, seven, eight, one, two, one, two. The theater of the unexpected, the go? ebb and flow of boxing. After a strong start in round number two for Crowley, it's Abdul Kaharov that sends Crowley to the canvas. He stopped Crowley and he stopped myself from saying it right on the time. I said, Abdul Kaharov has not shown up tonight and, and he landed that right. 
So Abdul Kaharov scores the knockdown in round two. Give me that. Good breath. Huh? Okay, listen, listen. I didn't see what he cut. What he cut? What he cut you with? Overhand right. Something you didn't see? Right. All right, stay inside, okay? You already hurt him. You already know you hurt him, but you can't get too hungry, okay? Just stay inside. Give me that. Well, here is where Abdukarov, who was not having a good round, lands this uh, counterpunch. It's a straight left, actually, a half jab, half hook. Uh, and Carson was just, he just was careless. And a second look at this will show the right hand low for, Car for uh, Crowley. Threw a right hook and got off balance, and his hand was down, and Abdukarov took advantage. He did. He surely did. I thought it was a right hand, but he yeah. pointed out, it's there it is, a jab, a power jab right in the chin that took a Crawley down. Round number three, Kudratilo Abdukarov with the knockdown in the second, and Crowley biting down again, coming forward, but Abdukarov trying to stem the tide and land his own counter strikes. And this fight is kind of coming down to that. Can Abdukarov counter the aggression of Crowley well as he did with that knockdown? Crowley's still doing the right thing by pawing with, or throwing that jab to try and work his way inside. And not only does he work his way inside, he maintains that distance because every time he lets go of that left hand, it's at a good range. Right there, he lets it go. Ivan Carson, I think, giving him good advice in the corner as well. Get on the inside. You know, don't don't be at range for those counter punches. Minute gone in the third. Abdul Kaharab utilizing lateral movement, effective countering. Crowley trying to unleash his attack, and there's a right that lands for Abdul Kaharab. Crowley with a left hand upstairs, another left. Right hook by Crowley. Manny Robles said they've been working on uh, Abdul Kaharab setting down on his punches, which he certainly did on that knockdown punch. But Crowley picking it up where yeah, he left off. He is. There's another left hand, scores for Crowley. This fight year old, not a beautiful combination, great punch placement. Crowley 19 and 0, nine knockouts. This fight is becoming a fascinating chess match, action chess match, where you're watching Crowley attack, Abdukarov trying to counter, and which one get, will get the job done the best. Well, Abdukarov's left hand has been Prominent. Led to the knockdown under a minute left here in the third. Good round for Crowley, though, although we said that the last round. <laughs> and then things changed, didn't and it they? It has been a, a decent round for the Canadian who now calls Las Vegas home. Yeah, he's a lot more busier talking about Crawley, pressure fighter. He's throwing great combinations, combining upstairs, downstairs, clean punches. But <laughs> Abdul Kagorov, you know, he'll have his moments, you know, body shots. And then if he gets a clean punch, we saw what happened in the last round. Crowley 8-0 oh as a pro here in the United States. Uppercut by Crowley. 20 seconds left in the third. Abdul Kagorov backing up to the ropes. Crowley connects with a right hook upstairs. Nice bounce back round for Crowley after the knockdown. Okay, I want relax. Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Be bad, okay? Listen, listen. Too much movement. Stay in the center of the ring. You understand? Center of the ring. Well, Crowley in that last round, and Marl mentioned it was a good bounce back round. Boy, was it that. Working on the inside. There's the body punching that uh, Crowley can do with the right hand. And there's another right hook. So that was kind of almost a double right hook, which we talked about uh, in the keys. Here he is attacking and landing that straight left hand, which he had on, on a number of occasions. Let's go. 
to the corner. Back to the corner. Bell round number four, <laughs> scheduled for 10 at welterweight. Abdul Kahorov would love to join compatriot unified 122 pound titleist Murujan Akhmadaliyev as a champion, but he is in tough against Cody Crowley despite knocking Crowley down in the second. And Manny Robles is quite clear. They don't want Abdul Kahorov just moving around the ring. Oh, nice right hook by Crowley. They want him in the center of the ring where he can get something done offensively. Well, Crowley said you're going to see who's standing in the center of the ring and who's running once the bell rings. He says he has survived in waters that destroy most people. Power punches in his fight, uh, everything other than the jab and uh, in the last round, excuse me, and Crowley, you see landing 42% uh, and yeah, two to one margin, so that's impressive. And they both get to the body here in the fourth. Right uppercut on the inside lands for Abdul Kahara. Really, really good round. A really interesting fight, actually. You know, both fighters doing, you know, their thing. But Crawley's aggressiveness, uh, the volume punching, the well-placed punches, you know, it has the best in this fight. And it's being contested at close quarters. They are... Crowley continues to put the pressure on, but Abdul Kaharov has had success with the counterattack. Crowley, the only undefeated fighter that Abdul Kaharov has faced. Whether he's the best remains to be seen, but he's the only undefeated one. Crowley once worked his way onto a show by selling $17,000 <laughs> worth of tickets on his own. You think this guy wants to be a professional boxer? And he promoted his own fights yes, in Peterborough. Yes, as his own promotional license was yeah. given. The key to the city of Peterborough. It's yes. home to the Peterborough Peets, the oldest franchise in the Ontario Hockey League as Abdul Kaharov comes back. See that and the, the electric uh, thing you told us about Peterborough, very impressive. Got to do my homework, especially when it comes to my home and native land, Mr. Bernstein. 45 seconds, yeah, they won't let me back in the country for the holidays <laughs> if I don't represent. 40 seconds left here in the fourth, and another good round yeah, for Crowley. Very much so. Yeah, I found his distance with the jab, with the punches, well-placed punches. Um, Abdul Kakarov just, you know, on his back foot, trying to wait for a right counter punch, where he's, he's had success here and there, but, you know, for more uh, best effective punches, Crowley so wow. far. And Crowley's doing a good job picking off Abdul Kakarov with the left hand. And there's a right from Abdul Kakarov. Fascinating stuff through four rounds here in Carson, California. And still to come, it was at this venue where Nonito Donaire broke his own record as the oldest 118-pound champion. I have to get one of those Fountain of Youth water filters that he's uh, created. Nonito Donaire, 39 years young, and he will defend the title against a compatriot, Raymar Gabaglio, who looked up, idolized Donaire, 14 years younger, and he hopes that, well, all of the Philippines, of course, it's gonna be high noon on a Sunday, perfect day, of course. The Philippines proud of their boxing heritage, and tonight an all-Philippine battle at 118 pounds, Nonito Donaire versus Raymart Gabaglio. Gabaglio undefeated as we come to you from this vaunted venue, Dignity Health Sports Park, home to so many Carson classics. Remember how we were here 2014, fight of the year, Lucas Matisse, John Molina, there have been so many entertaining scraps and we are witnessing another one right now. This is a really interesting fight. A lot of punches thrown, a lot of punches landed, and two different styles at play. And that lead right hook keeps connecting for Crowley. His blood on the ear of Abdul Kaharov. Uh, it probably came from one of those right hooks, maybe. Oh, big right hook by Crowley. I don't know if it was from the previous round, but it just started yeah. right away. You know, Crowley has fought most of his career at 154 pounds, but he wants to be at 147 where he is tonight. He thinks being the naturally bigger man is going to help him. Beautiful left hook to the liver by Abdul Kaharov. 
And a great point right there, Al, because oh, he, is, he is being the bigger man tonight. Man, these power shots are landing for both fighters yeah. here in the fifth, a minute gone. Yeah, Dukarov has landed a couple of really good counters, but Crowley, oh, wow, nice left hand. He's just so well placed. Oh, and then up to Kaharov comes back and Crowley shakes it off. <laughs> and that's what makes it so so exciting this fight because Abu Kaharov, you know, he'll come with his own punch out of nowhere. Crowley went down for the first time in his career. With 38 seconds left in round two from a counter punch. Though Abdu Kaharov was the one who had been staggered earlier in the round. You know, the pressure of Crowley. He said, my pressure is going to really begin to affect him after four or five rounds. He, it is pushing out the Kaharov back. A lot more in this fifth round. The crowd here mm. reacting to every thudding blow that is being landed coming up on the final minute of the fifth. Cody Crowley did not fight this year. He had to sell his automobile because he did not have enough money to keep it. Wow. He said, this is an important fight for me. So say that again. Yeah. And just the entire story, we've talked about yeah. what he has done, the there sacrifice, you. the lengths that he has gone just to get an opportunity. And Abdukaharov lands the right-left combination on the face of Crowley. And the importance for Abdukaharov, he's in a position where if he loses his fight, he tumbles in the rankings. He's been the he's... mandatory challenger for Earl Spence Jr. for a long time. Yeah. I think Truman was president when he first got to be <laughs> mandatory. <laughs> And this is the well-placed punches from Carly. You talked about yeah. the pressure that he's putting. It, it, it's smart pressure. It's yes. really smart pressure what Carly, Carly's doing. Picking his punches well, but not, look, not, not worrying when to go in. He goes in when he pleases, and placing his punches really good. And his punch numbers in terms of what's being thrown is growing 89 in that last round. Fantastic first half of what is a welterweight fight scheduled for 10 rounds, and Abdul Kaharab has been in a fight. Breath, relax, relax, relax. Okay. Okay. Relax, breathe, 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 breathe. Six round coming up, okay? We're gonna see where that Six cut round. happened. The straight left hand, yeah, it landed right uh, on the ear. Well, the elbow hit the ear as well, but I, one, either the punch or the elbow, and you look at the left shoulder, see the blood starting to drip down, so. Great work by the folks in the truck showing us uh, where that cut took place. So it may have come from the actual punch or from the elbow, but either way. And Crowley doing excellent work, pushing Abdukarov back, landing the straight lefts, the right hooks, just having a very good round. And we begin round six, the second half of this 10-round welterweight attraction. Crowley immediately pouncing on Abdu Kaharov, who responds by going to the body with a right hand. We've had so many bouts this year that were the, the companion fight or third fight on a card that have been exciting. This is yet another example. Let's bring in our unofficial scorer, Steve Farhood. How do you have it after five, my friend? Mo, oh, I have Crowley ahead 48-46. It's a little closer than it would be because Abdul Kaharov scored the knockdown in round two. And that second round was fascinating because Crowley scored early and I was thinking maybe it'll be a 10-8 round even without a knockdown for Crowley. And then Abdul Kaharov landed the knock knockdown punch and he ended up with a 10-8 round. But I think Crowley's done enough to uh, merit a lead on my part 48-46 after five. And the welterweight division continues to deliver. Yeah, so many fighters in the division that can make good matches. And this one looked good on paper, and it's showing up to be that way in the ring. Two undefeated prize fighters on the big stage in a loaded division. Ooh, wow. Wow. That was a great left from Crowley. And Abdul Kaharov just waiting the time, really, and counterpunch, and that's what he's been doing, Crowley, but it's the pressure that... Oh, and there's another left hand by Crowley. The pressure from Crowley that, you know, Abdul Kaharov just can't, he's just a lot. And Al Crowley would love to just stay in that center of the ring, bite down on the mouth guard and exchange shots, but of course, Abdul Kaharov 
We want to utilize his own style. Once he used the ring and counter punch, but uh, Crowley getting the better of that. And they're total punching. You can see a, a Crowley a volume puncher, and he's doing that here tonight. Yes, he's landing at a lower percentage, but because he's throwing so many more, he's landing more punches. Crowley saying that he making it to Showtime, a message to everyone in the world that you can do anything you put your mind to. He is putting his mind to authoring the fight of his life, and what a fight it is here as we begin the second half. You know what they say, it takes two to tango, and yes. you know, Abdukagulov obviously giving them a good fight. It's a good fight. Oh, very competitive still. Abdukaharov looking the worst for wear after the cut on the ear, beginning to wear the blood as we hit the final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Fainting by Crowley. Actually commentating his own fight. <laughs> He's an interesting guy. <laughs> Relax, relax, relax. How do you feel? How do you feel? Hold on, hold on, wait. So the only well, thing we the haven't day, yeah, had in uh, this fight up to this round was a clash of heads, and uh, we would get it as they both come in. Abdukaharov kind of, you know, jumping in a little bit, but that wasn't anything blatant. It just was an accidental clash of heads. And we'll take a look at it. Luckily, it did not create a, a cut anywhere, which is good. Yeah, they're a big bang of the heads uh, in the last round. And we had to get it left-handers and right handers It always yeah. happens. Yeah. It's really common. Hey. Hey. Go, go, go. Round at number seven again, scheduled for 10 and for Crowley. He has gone the distance in his last three fights, distances of 12, 10, and 10 rounds. But here, looking to put it on, Abdu Kaharov, Abdu Kaharov countering back, but continues to get nailed with those shots upstairs. And Abdu Kaharov has gone the distance in his last three fights, uh, all three 12 rounders. So these men are used to going long, and uh, we'll see if they can keep up this pace and do that. Abdukarov has done some nice body work yes. in the last uh, couple minutes of this fight. Whether that's enough to turn the tide for him remains to be seen. He times that left every time and he lands a body shot. But after that body shot, Crawley comes with one, two, three punches upstairs. So it takes away from that from that body shot that Abdukarov landed. A minute gone here. In the seventh, Crowley continued to stock Abdukaharov along the ropes, nails him with another left. Abdukaharov's never been down in his career. He's been rocked in this fight, but he is the one who has sent Crowley to the canvas for the first time in the Canadian's career. You know, the, the headline in this fight to me is the fact that Crowley has used his jab so effectively and it has set up the other punches. He's shown 21 jabs in this round alone. Imagine that, oh. what happens when you establish yeah. the jab and he's establishing wow. dominance on the ropes. Uh, crushing combinations upstairs and Abdul Kaharab being tagged. Tagged and he's getting, he's getting tired. I yes. see a little bit of fatigue from oh. Abdul Kaharab. Abdul Kaharab firing back. Crowley composed, calculated. You know, he said, I'm a pressure fighter and I break people down. And you know, he's doing exactly that. Yep. We haven't seen body work from Crowley. I would, I would like for him to, you know, invest a little bit in the body. Probably help him out a lot, you know. Early in the fight, he did it, but he stopped. Yes. Right. Crowley said that. Abdukaharov is going to find himself in waters he can't swim in. Someone better throw this man some water wings. <laughs> Close quote. And he's, I mean, he is yeah. bringing him into deep waters. Well, he's doing exactly what he does at his best, uh, Cody Crowley, and that is be a volume puncher, throw a variety of punches, and he's doing that. 
Look at the foot placement, the distance. He's not getting in too close. He's not smothering his punches. Speaking of Carly. Territory now, baby. We're in our territory now, all right? Turn it up. He's only looking for one punch. He's just trying to catch you at one punch. But if you don't see that punch, it's going to be a problem. I don't want, so you keep your defense right, your eyes right, okay? Keep outworking him. Keep that press on him. I want him to bait the rounds. Yeah. We ain't looking for no knockout. We're looking to beat the piss out of him, okay? <laughs> you see everything. I've been Carson saying, uh, you know, keep that pressure on. And yeah, that is exactly what Crawley wants to do. And here's the kind of pressure he's been putting on landing the straight left. And as Abner pointed out, being smart about it, going back and making Abdukarov miss after he threw those combinations. Yeah, the uh, defense uh, after the the offense. Uh, He's being placed well, well positioned, throwing his punches really good, doing, being really effective. Action from pillar to post as we begin round number eight. Cody the Crippler Crowley, the 28-year-old, living in Las Vegas from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, 19-0, with nine KOs, Kudratillo Abdukalarov. 28-year-old from Uzbekistan, 18-0 with 10 KOs. He has been a mandatory challenger for Errol Spence for many moons. And Crowley said the fact that Abdukarov mentioned Errol Spence Jr.'s name is, is a sign that he's overlooking him. Yeah, and as Steve's unofficial scorecard shows, other than that second round, Crowley has really controlled this fight. And we're in round eight for Abdukarov. What can he do to change things? And what he has to do is land a big counter punch, something that will hurt Crowley, maybe knock him down. Uh, we'll just see. like the shot in round two. Yeah, just like the shot in round two. There's the head shots landed at big edge for Crowley. Uh, he's landing more power punches, more of everything in this fight. And it's his positioning, Abner, his, his, the way he places his punches, the, co the IQ, the combinations. It is an impressive outing thus far for Cody Crowley. Yeah, it's the range where he's, where he's at, the well-placed position from his punches. But I'm talking of Abdul Kagarov, what he needs to do, he needs to trade punches with Crowley. He, he's just looking for counter punches, you know, here and there, one body shot, overhand right. Yes, he has the power, but if you want to win rounds, there's a counter punch. You got to be more effective. You got to throw more volume, more, more punches. There was a, a right hand jab from Abdukarov as he switched to Southpaw. Well, Manny Robles has urged Abdukarov to step forward in this fight, but he can't. Crowley is just putting too much pressure on him. And he can't, can't, back, can't seem to back Crowley up. In this round, Crowley is up to 68 punches already. His volume has increased as the fight's gone on. So that's impressive. Final minute of the eighth. And they have combined to throw 1,000 punches. And majority by Crowley, large majority. Yeah, this shows who, who was the bigger man tonight. Crowley just walking him down. Because Abdul Kakarov, he, he is a pressure fighter. He is a guy that will sit and trade punches with you, but not, not against Crowley. And Crowley, we mentioned he fights at 154 pounds a lot of the time. He looks bigger in that way, even though he's at 147. Crowley at range. Oh, gets picked off by that counter right hand by Abdul Kakarov. But it's there's a lead right by Abdukarov that scores as we head to round number nine here in the great outdoors in Carson, California. Hey, orale cabrón con la pinche agua. Ya deberías de estar preparado. Okay, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Again. Okay? Let's go. What do I know here? Well, Crowley doing a lot of good work, especially early in that round, and landing a nice combination. That's just really good combination work by him. And then a straight left hand will get right through the guard of Abdukarov. 
But Abdukarov did have a couple good moments with some counter punches. There's the right hand, a lead right hand that would get in. He actually landed a couple of good left hands right at the end of the round, but certainly not enough, I wouldn't imagine, to win him the round. The in Back our estimation. Unofficially. <laughs> One wonders how much might the blood be affecting the scoring or simply Crowley outworking, outstriking Abdukharov as we begin round number nine. Double jab from the southpaw Crowley, left uppercut landed. Well, Crowley started out throwing three straight right hooks that landed. That's, you know, and for a lefty that has a good right hook, they don't all land. They don't. They don't. But again, Abdukhagarov, that's what he has to do. He has to let his hands go because if he lands punches, that's going to stop the volley from Crowley also. But if, you know, if, if Abdukhagarov is not doing anything, not throwing, well, Crowley's going to keep walking him down. Crowley started kickboxing at the age of 14 and then transitioned to the sweet science at age 15. He trained himself until the age of 19. Lost his first kickboxing match to a young lady, he said. <laughs> Which, hey, <laughs> he was good. He probably just landed a nice body shot. And coming into this fight, Abdukaharov was a huge favorite. Yes. Yeah, that's well worth noting at this point. But you know, watching the videos of them, you, you, it, it was obvious this was going to be a very interesting and competitive fight. And in fact, it, it, while it's been competitive, probably dominated. And he just landed another solid left hand to the face of Abdukharov past the midpoint of the ninth. And now Abdukharov, he's only thrown 16 punches yeah. this round. Now he's just in, he, right now he looks like he's in survival mode. Crowley exhorting him to do more offensively. <laughs> he heard you. Yeah. And you know where that's coming from is because Crowley has invested a little bit more in the body. Oh, and there he goes. It's right up to the body. Nice attack here by Crowley. Less than a minute left in the ninth. The double right hook, which we talked about during the keys, and he's used it in this fight. And how about the fact that got up and ooh, a left hand clobbering. Abdukarov upstairs, but Crowley getting up off the deck for the first time in his career in round two. And it has been a sensational performance by the Canadian, but Abdukarov undefeated for a reason. And we have just over three minutes left in this fight. There's a the body work from up. up. Of the cover up, but it's just one punch here and there. And just Crowley goes second. to the body before finishing with a left hook upstairs. Tenth and final round on deck. Well, the straight left of Crowley. Why, why does he land it? Because he used the jab to get on the inside. And even with his right hand up, Abdukharov's not able to block the punch because it was a straight yeah, punch. Put that work on him. I need everything in there, but don't get sloppy with it. Not drama, touch him up in the center. Okay, don't get sloppy with it. I want it to be meaningful, all right? But don't have your hand straight up when you punch him, baby. Don't cut it in like that. Don't do that, all right? Tuck it. Because he's trying to land that one shot. He want to get you. You got to finish strong. You got that? Finish strong okay yes yes that's wrong give me the rest of you all right let's go push let's go you gotta push you want this you gotta push the message from Abdu Kahorab's corner, you got to push. He has got to put it all on the line here in the 10th and a final round. Crowley telling us that no one can keep up with it. the activity in the ring. He's a machine. Crowley saying, I'm a world champion in my head. The world just doesn't know it yet. And what a performance tonight. I'm the greatest star. <laughs> they just don't know it yet. You know, he, I've been Carson with great work in the corner, reminding Crowley to be, uh, to use his fundamentals. Don't get wild. Don't give him a chance to land that one big counterpunch. 
Yeah, that's great advice because that's the last thing you want to do. You know, give him the opportunity to land, you know, overhand crazy punches where he did. What was it? The second, third round where he was able to knock down Crawley. Oh, and oh. Crawley comprehensively <laughs> outboxing, outworking Kudratilo Abdukaharov. That was beautiful combination punching by Crowley. He's a good technician in that ring. So I guess uh, going 150 rounds of the ring with Floyd and yeah. Jr. does pay off. Stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. Could help you a little bit. Put your head up with the yeah. Really anyone sparring in that gym. Yeah. The dog power. The dog, yeah. And there's a right hook again that landed upstairs for Crowley and Abdukarov. He's backing up, utilizing lateral movement. He's got to come forward. He's got to let it all hang out now. Minute and a half left in the fight. Now, who's the one losing the fight? <laughs> Crowley's the one pressuring, trying to end this. But, you know, again, it's easier than Abdukarov. Obviously, he wants to stay in there and trade punches, but it's just too much volume. This is beautiful combination punching by Crowley. Look at the distance. Yeah, that range, I was just going to say, well, Abner, well said there. Just beautiful display of boxing from the Canadian who bet on himself. And while he is the betting underdog here with 50 seconds left, he has definitely proved to be more than a live dog putting it on Abdukharov in the corner. Cody Crowley gave himself a 10-year plan to become a champion. He's in the seventh year and here in his 20th professional fight, having authored the best fight of his career and that despite going down for the first time in his career in round two. Who will remain undefeated? The judges will let us know. But what a fight for the Canadian, Cody Crowley. That man has got to be proud of this effort. At 28, he, as you pointed out, he authored the best fight of his career at the right moment against the best opponent he's faced. And Ivan Carson, his trainer, uh, just has to be so gratified for Abdu Kaharov. If, if he loses this fight, which we think he probably will, uh, of course, it's a huge setback for him in probably losing his number one status in the IBF. Let's go inside the ropes and look at this fight in microcosm. From the beginning, it was Cody Crawley coming with a lot of pressure, and that was a good sequence of counterpoint. But that's the place where we thought maybe this fight would change in round two with the jab that turned uh, what was a good Crawley run into a knockdown. Did that deter Cody Crawley? No. He kept coming. He kept using the jab to work his way in, landing straight left hands with impunity, also right hooks, and just outworking him by throwing 800 at 98 punches in this fight. He was busy, he was effective, and he did a great job. They never want to fight. They always run. The numbers in this fight, remarkable from Crowley's standpoint. 898 punches thrown, uh, and you know, he landed 37% of his power punches, but with the, the jabs, 404, that's more jabs than you would expect him to throw. It really helped him. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen after 10, 10 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Pat Russell scores the action 95 to 94. Alejandro Rochin, 97 to 92. And Fernando Villarreal scores the bout 98 to 91. All three in favor of the winner, Cody the Crippler. 
Crowley. Oh, Canada, stand up and cheer. 28-year-old Cody Crowley has made the Maple Leaf proud with a comprehensive effort here tonight. He is 20 and 0, and he just scored a major upset. It's beautiful. After definitely hearing his story, his background, I, I, even myself can be more prouder than him. I'm really proud, happy for for his win and his performance more than anything tonight. A big win for him. I've been Carson there, exalting with him uh, over this, and. While he is excited about this win, he has dealt a major blow to Abdul Kaharov uh, in, uh, in this fight for sure. And one of the scores may be a little nervous, 95, 94, much too close, I think. Let's bring in our unofficial score, Steve Farad. What do you think of the scoring, Steve? Well, Mo, I'm very surprised at Pat Russell's score, having it that close. He gave Abdul Kohorov round one and two, round four, and round eight. He gave, found four rounds to give him. As a result, he had Crowley winning only by one point. Uh, Fernando Villarreal, you'll see, had it 98-91. As we take a look at my card, I had it also 98-91, giving Abdul Kohorov only that one round, same as uh, Fernando Villarreal. So, uh, a wide win for Crowley on two of the three cards. The pride and joy of Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Cody Crowley delivering an early Christmas present for his hometown. What a performance, what a win.